Now under implication we were having two types of sentences. One was conditional sentence in which we used if then and second was biconditional where we used if and only if. Okay? So let us go first with the truth table for conditional. Now, <coughs> the truth table of implication if then or if p then q we can write like this is also if p then q and we are writing for this p implies q is a conditional and truth table can be as follow. Now truth table can be as follow means what I have made here this side. Okay. So now here we are already knowing that first both will be true, true false, false true and false false Okay, for two sentences p and q. Now what are the observations <coughs> for filling the truth table now observations are <coughs> number 1 p implies q is false if p is true and q is false Number 2, if P is false, if P is false, then P implies Q is true whether Q is true or false. Now main thing first thing was what if both are true then validity the truth value of the sentence will be true itself. So for the first part if both are true it is true. Now second case P implies Q is false if P is true and Q is false now P is true Q is false so this will be false. If P is false now P here P is false here also P is false here also. If P is false then P implies Q is true it is what it is true whether Q is true or false whether Q is true or false it is true. So this is the truth table for conditional. Now let me give you a very simple example. Now suppose it is if it is sunny then I wear my sunglasses. Okay. Now row 1. Now what row 1 says? Now row 1 is if it is sunny if it is sunny it means we have we have to assume that it is true then i will wear my sunglasses it is also true so what it is <coughs> if p is true then q will immediately follow p 
if p is true then q will immediately follow p now p is true means it is sunny it is following i will wear my sunglasses so it is true first one it is true now second row row 2 is now if p is true then q is not we can write it if p is true and we can just put here and if p is true and q is not immediately following p now <coughs> it is sunny and i am not wearing my sunglasses so it means q is not immediately following p so that's why this is false now <coughs> row 3 now row 3 means what row 3 is if it is sunny now the sentence here we want it false now it means that it is not sunny okay it is not sunny but i wear my sunglasses okay so now if it is not sunny and i wear my sunglasses anyway does not now here what this means it does not invalidate the statement okay does not invalidate the statement as p implies q now basic thing is what it means that either it is sunlight sunny or not suppose you are going somewhere walking along a street it is sunny and you are wearing your sunglasses now due to some change in the weather there are clouds for few minutes we can say then it hardly matters that you are just taking off your sunglasses or not it depends on you so it means it does not change the validity okay <clears throat> so this will what the statement will become true and the last one row 4 it is that is common row 4 is what row 4 it will be true why because <coughs> row 4 will be true because it is not sunny you are not wearing the sunglasses okay so this is the conditional sentence and especially for the third row and the fourth one especially for the third row we have to be little much careful okay now you can just tell us sir when in the third row it was not sunny and he was wearing the sunglasses in the fourth row it was not sunny and he is not wearing the sunglasses so if fourth row means what that right from the beginning there was not sun, any sunny day it was a normal day without sun okay without sorry sunlight it was a cloudy day okay so when it is sunny he is wearing the sunglasses and for a few time for a few minutes for a few seconds their sun disappears and clouds are there so it depends on you that you are taking off your sunglass or not so this is what this is the conditional sentence and this is the truth table for the conditional